Hey everybody, I'm Clifford Sunday, the Pop Song Professor, and welcome to my channel where we make song lyrics explained. Today we're talking about Formidable from Scaled and Icy by 21 Pilots, and I don't know if you guys noticed, but the first songs I chose to explain from the album this week were probably the easiest, and it was because I was really nervous about explaining songs like Formidable, where there are a lot of potential meanings. But I've done a ton of reading, a ton of research, went back through so many articles to try to figure out what this song means, and I have to be honest with you guys, I'm gonna need a little bit of help. Let me explain exactly what is going on here. In the chorus, you are formidable to me, somebody who is like impressive and a little bit scary maybe, not necessarily scary in a bad way, but somebody who's, you know, got it together and, you know, somebody you want to respect. Because you seem to know it where you want to go. Yeah, 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 I'll follow you, but you should know I might be cynical towards you, but I just can't believe that I'm for you. Yeah, 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 I can, I can die with you, just let me know. So there are, based on you know experience with Tyler Joseph where he's at in life right now, there are a few people that this could be about. It could be about his wife, a line like, you know, I can die with you, really kind of sounds like it might be about her. We were all expecting at least one song in this album to be about his new daughter, Rosie, and this could be about her. I think he's even said things similar to You Are Formidable to me in interviews. Maybe not that exact word, but I think we have heard him say things like that the idea of raising a child is a formidable one. So it could be about her. Could it be about other family members, potentially other friends, maybe? But then the other three options here, number one, it could be about his music, and I'll explain why that in a second. It could be about the fans, which kind of started around the time of his music, so the Skeleton Click, which he has had songs about in the past, like Heathens, or it could be about Josh Dunn. And there's a lot of evidence and some phrasings and some word choices that could mean that it's any of these people, but I'm gonna give you the evidence and then I need your help to actually make you know, our best guess, because honestly, this is a song that doesn't have but one very specific line to it, and even that line is questionable, and there's not a lot of evidence outside of that. This is a song that we might actually really have to wait on Tyler Joseph to explain for us before we are fully confident, but I think that we can get about 80% of the way there in this video. So it continues on to the verse, and I know that we just met, but could you take me everywhere you've ever been? I wanna see it all, no surprises. We just met, that makes it sound either like he's going into the past to talk about somebody that he's known for a while, or it makes it sound like he could be talking about his daughter in the present who he did just meet, cause she's you know just the over a year old. We could go into the verse two then, where the evidence starts to feel a little more contradictory. Fast forward 13 years now. So if he was speaking from the past into the future, somebody he had just met in the past to right now, well, who did he meet 13 years ago? He hasn't known Jenna that long. He hasn't known Josh that long. They actually started the band, or he, uh, what's his name? Josh joined the band in 2011 and it's 2001, so it's like, okay, what happened in 2008? And really 2007, 2008 was when Tyler started actually making music. And so if maybe Tyler recorded this song in 2020 or 2021, it could kind of be either way. So 2000, 2008, 2007, 2008 is kind of the timeline we're looking at. So is this about the fans or about the band? Or is the 13 years thing just kind of a red herring? And that was the specific line I was telling you about, but it may mean nothing because he says, fast forward 13 years now, don't know what it was, but somehow we played it out in reverse, which again kind of makes you think it's talking about 13 years in the past, but could it be about 13 years in the future? Like what's gonna happen next? There's not a lot here that really proves it one way or the other, but he does say, I'm afraid of you now more than I was at first, which again makes it sound like it's past-minded. So then we're asking the question, what happened 13 years ago, which then goes back to either the music or starting to meet the fans. And sure, fans could be formidable to somebody, especially if you say, I'm afraid of you now more than I was at first. 
okay, it could be about the fans who are new to him and were scary to perform before at first, maybe something like that. But this song, this album, is actually a lot about the music, right? Like Trash the Dragon is symbolizing creativity, and the album was an attempt to get back down to the basics of the songwriting process. So is he talking about the music? Mmm, there's so much going on, but at the same time, the whole song is so upbeat that it, and usually when he talks about the fans or the music, it's a much more like sad, steady song with a lot more minor chords, but this sounds so upbeat, so it makes it sound like it's about somebody he cares about. It's confusing. And it doesn't stop being confusing there. He sings in the end of verse two, and I know you just left, but can I take you everywhere we've ever been? Maybe again pointing to the past. Maybe this is 13 in the years in the future looking back. The timeline is a little bit crazy. He says, I want to see it all, no surprises. Uh, but I want to go back to a line that shows up here at the end of the song in the chorus. He says, but you should know I might be cynical towards you. Uh, and I think that in, in a lot of situations, especially if you watch him in interviews, Tyler Joseph does tend to be a little bit cynical and have a bit of an ironic sense of humor. And it makes sense as a semi-cynical person myself that that's the kind of thing that would show up in relationships with other people. But then he says, I'm just worried my loyalty will bore you, which is such a like interesting line. And I think that's something that a lot of us fear and care about, but it kind of feels like, again, it could apply to any one of those situations except for maybe the music, because music can't be bored. And then we have the final and greatest piece of evidence of all, and it's that in the lyric video for this song, there are pictures of Tyler with one other person. And it's Josh. It's just a bunch of pictures of him and Josh spread out among the lyrics. So, but, but he didn't know Josh 13 years ago, but the band started approximately 13 years ago. He really started releasing No Fun Intended in 2007, 2008. So what is going on here, guys? Out of the five different options that I've laid out, personally, I've narrowed it to three. I think it's the fans, Josh, or Rosie. And if I had to put those in an order right now, it'd probably be fans, Josh, Rosie, because even the pictures of Josh feels like the most compelling evidence that it's about Josh. But if this is a song about the fans from the band, then you would maybe think that, yeah, we'd wanna be able to see Josh and Tyler because they share these feelings towards the fans together. So fans, it might be fans Rosie Josh, fans Josh Rosie. Here's what I want you guys to do. Go comment down below, just like a simple statement, like one word or two words, who you think this is about, and then go upvote all of the comments that you agree with that are also those very simple statements and that's how we'll vote for it. And then people who watch this video in the future can go and see what you guys think. I've given my opinions and my theories based on my research. You have all of that information now, and it's up to you guys. So, thanks for watching this video, thanks for subscribing, and if you're interested, thanks for checking out my Obsessed podcast, which I've put so much work into. It's absolutely insane. It's a podcast about hobbies and obsessions that inspire obsession. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you next time.